Welcome to my channel crazy underscore facts 69 an informative channel please do subscribe, share and like, courtesy, internet. Natural balancing by nature refers to the inherent mechanisms and processes in the natural world that help maintain ecological balance and stability. This concept is rooted in the idea that ecosystems, over time, have evolved intricate systems of checks and balances to ensure the survival and sustainability of various species and the overall health of the environment. Some key elements of natural balancing by nature include Predator-prey relationships Many ecosystems have predator-prey relationships, where the population of predators is kept in check by the availability of prey, and vice versa. When prey populations increase, predator populations also tend to increase, leading to a decrease in prey numbers, which in turn limits the predator population, creating a cycle of balance. Competitive exclusion In ecosystems, different species often compete for resources like food, water, and shelter. Over time, species that are better adapted to their environment tend to outcompete others, leading to a balance where each species occupies a unique niche. Symbiotic relationships Symbiotic relationships, such as mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism, play a role in maintaining balance within ecosystems. These relationships involve two or more species interacting in ways that can benefit or harm one or more of the species involved. Natural disturbances Natural events like wildfires, floods, and disease outbreaks can disrupt ecosystems. However, these disturbances can also play a role in maintaining balance by preventing the dominance of one species and creating opportunities for others to thrive. Succession Ecological succession is a natural process where one community of organisms gradually replaces another over time. This process can lead to a balanced and stable ecosystem as different species and communities succeed each other. Climate and weather patterns Weather and climate patterns can influence the distribution and abundance of species. For example, extreme weather events can impact populations, but they can also create conditions for certain species to thrive. Nutrient cycling Nutrient cycling in ecosystems ensures that essential elements like carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus are recycled and made available to different organisms. This recycling process helps maintain the health and balance of ecosystems. Population density feedback In many cases, as the population of a species increases, resources become scarcer, which can lead to increased competition and, in some cases, population declines. This density-dependent feedback helps regulate populations. Overall, natural balancing by nature is a fundamental principle of ecology, reflecting the complex and dynamic interactions among species and their environment. It underscores the importance of preserving and protecting natural ecosystems to allow these inherent balancing mechanisms to continue functioning. Human activities, such as habitat destruction and pollution, can disrupt these natural balances and have far-reaching ecological consequences. Conservation efforts often focus on restoring and preserving these balances to ensure the health and sustainability of ecosystems. How we support nature Supporting nature for natural balancing involves a range of conservation and sustainable management practices aimed at preserving and restoring ecological balance in ecosystems. Here are some ways we can support nature for natural balancing. Habitat preservation and restoration. 1. Protecting and preserving natural habitats is crucial for maintaining biodiversity and ecological balance. 1. Conservation organizations, governments, and individuals can work to establish and maintain protected areas, parks, and reserves. 2. Engaging in habitat restoration projects can help revitalize ecosystems that have been degraded due to human activities. 2. This might involve reforestation, wetland restoration, or coral reef rehabilitation. Biodiversity Conservation 1. Promoting biodiversity conservation efforts helps ensure that a wide variety of species continue to exist and interact in ecosystems, contributing to natural balancing. 2. Implementing species recovery programs for endangered or threatened species can help restore their populations and roles in ecosystems. Sustainable Resource Management 1. Sustainable forestry, fishing, and agriculture practices can prevent overexploitation of natural resources, ensuring that ecosystems can continue to function properly. 2. Implementing sustainable farming practices, such as crop rotation and organic farming, reduces the negative impacts of agriculture on ecosystems. Ecosystem-based management. 1. Adopting an ecosystem-based approach to management considers the entire ecosystem, including the interactions among species, when making decisions about resource use and conservation. 2. This approach recognizes that maintaining ecological balance often requires managing multiple species and their habitats together. Invasive Species Control 1. 
Invasive species can disrupt natural balances by outcompeting native species. 1. Implementing control measures for invasive species helps protect native biodiversity. 2. Preventing the introduction of invasive species through stringent biosecurity measures is also important. Climate change mitigation. 1. Addressing climate change is crucial for preserving ecological balance. 1. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions through renewable energy adoption and sustainable transportation helps mitigate the impacts of climate change on ecosystems. Reduce pollution and habitat destruction. 1. Pollution from chemicals, plastics, and other contaminants can disrupt ecosystems. 1. Reducing pollution through responsible waste management and pollution control measures is essential. 2. Avoiding habitat destruction, such as deforestation and wetland drainage, helps maintain natural balances. Education and awareness. 1. Educating the public about the importance of biodiversity and ecological balance can lead to more responsible individual and collective actions. 2. Supporting and participating in community-based conservation initiatives and citizen science programs can raise awareness and engage local communities in conservation efforts. Research and monitoring. 1. Conducting research on ecosystems and species interactions helps us understand the dynamics of natural balancing. 1. Monitoring ecosystem health and species populations can provide valuable data for conservation efforts. Legislation and policy. 1. Advocating for and supporting policies and regulations that promote conservation and sustainable practices at local, national, and international levels is essential for protecting nature. Supporting conservation organizations. 1. Donating to and volunteering with conservation organizations and initiatives can provide direct support for conservation efforts. Sustainable development. 1. Encouraging sustainable development practices that minimize the ecological footprint of human activities is crucial for balancing human needs with the needs of nature. Natural landscaping. 1. In urban and suburban areas, adopting natural landscaping practices with native plants can create pockets of biodiversity and support local ecosystems. Supporting nature for natural balancing is a collective effort that involves individuals, communities, governments, and organizations working together to protect and restore the intricate web of life on Earth. It requires a long-term commitment to preserving and respecting the natural world and its delicate ecological balances.